there have been uh, so many developments in MS that it's, it's very difficult for me to say there is one that stands out. Uh, from, from the basic understanding of the pathology, of pathophysiology, to the development of new informative models, to uh, uh, now a, a growing uh, strong interest in biomarkers and prognostic markers, and, and then finally, obviously, to uh, uh, novel therapies and novel approaches to therapies. It's, it, it, just look at this meeting, uh, 2,000 presentations, and so many things going on simultaneously. It's, it's, it's hard to uh, really ingest all the material, but uh, in almost every one of these areas, there have been advances. So I think you're gonna have to have, well, you need a more focused question for me to be able to say, Tell me about an advance in therapy or tell me an advance in something in particular. I think the driving force for a lot of research is trying to fill in the, the gaps of knowledge about the disease, but also for uh, really a number of unmet needs of our patients. And, and, and you've heard, or you will hear at this meeting, a lot of emphasis on trying to understand the basis of progression and progressive disease and, and what, what stops that. We're very good at turning down new inflammatory events. We're very good at, at controlling relapses and MRI activity. But the elephant in the room, so to speak, is this progression that when it starts seems to just run away in, in individuals. And that's the key. I mean, this is, as soon as that starts, it's, it's like a runaway train. How do you pull it back? And more importantly, are there any ways of, of repairing the damage that has occurred that sometimes is below the water, but only as the patient age and the disease starts to get worse do you see it rise above the water and recognize that damage done earlier on is now starting to surface. So all of that has come to bear and, and now we're studying a number of different molecules that might slow progression. We've had two treatment trials that have been successful in the last year or so uh, that have, at least using our primitive measures of disease disability, shown ability to slow the disease down. There are now three or four different treatments that are being tested now for repair. Years ago we would have never even thought of talking about repair or regeneration. Uh, technology is, is helping us with as it advances, we apply it very quickly, and, and MS is one of these prototypic autoimmune diseases that allows itself to be investigated in this way. Uh, I compare it to, say, some of my rheumatological colleagues' diseases, which are, I'll call them messy, because uh, they're not a single area of the body. Whereas MS, it's central nervous system, and that's the end.